Welcome to Real Estate with Corinne. I'm Corinne Kern, broker with Bighorn Real Estate in Billings, Montana. In today's video, I wanna talk about what it looks like to purchase a manufactured home, how it differs from purchasing a site-built home, and the different terms that you might hear during the process. I think this will help you put together a pros and cons list to decide if purchasing a manufactured home is the right move for you. So we often see the terms manufactured, mobile, and modular intertwined. Uh, so I just want to clarify that a manufactured home and a mobile home are technically one and the same. Uh, what is a little bit different from those is a modular home, and that tends to be treated just like a site-built home or a stick-built home. So for the purpose of this video, I am going to be referring to what we call manufactured or mobile homes. First, we're going to take a look at purchasing a manufactured home within a mobile home park. While this is typically a more affordable housing option, the reason for this is that a manufactured home within a mobile home park usually is not sold with the land. The mobile home park owns the land underneath and usually leases out the lot where the manufactured home is situated. Since the property does not include the land with it, just the manufactured home, we also see that these manufactured homes are typically on a more temporary type of foundation or not considered to be affixed to a permanent foundation. Because properties within mobile home parks do not own the land underneath them and do not have permanent foundations, typically these homes do not qualify for standard financing. There are some financing options available out there. We call those chattel loans or personal property loans. And your best bet is to contact a local credit union or a local bank to see if they have those loan options in place. Since the land in the mobile home park is not owned by the manufactured home owner and owned by the mobile home park, the manufactured home is actually recognized as personal property and not real property or real estate. Therefore, it is taxed accordingly. We typically see tax bills for personal property to be significantly more affordable than real estate property taxes. And similar to a boat or a car that is also recognized as personal property, a manufactured home that does not include land does have the potential to depreciate in value. Next, I wanna go over what it looks like to purchase a property where a manufactured home sits on a lot or land and both are owned by the same person. We typically see these qualify for standard financing and these properties have usually been through the process of detitling. What that means is that the manufactured home is no longer recognized as personal property, but it is now recognized as real property. One of the qualifications for it to be detitled, as well as a qualification to receive standard financing, is that the manufactured home needs to be on a permanent foundation. Different types of financing are going to have different restrictions and standards on what type of permanent foundation is used. So if you're looking to purchase this type of property, checking with your lender on those guidelines is going to be important. Now, the next qualification really only applies to the financing piece of it, not necessarily to the detitling part of this, but a manufactured home can only be moved once to qualify for financing. There are some exceptions to this rule, but most often we see that financing requires that the manufactured home can only be moved from the manufacturer's lot to the piece of land that it's going to be permanently affixed to. The reason behind that is they want to make sure that a property hasn't been moved more than once and hasn't been structurally compromised. When we see a manufactured home listed for sale, even after they've been through the detitling process, they include land and are on a permanent foundation, we do tend to find them more affordable than a comparable site-built home. And while we do see these manufactured homes as a more affordable housing option, they do also follow the real estate market trends. So as real estate values go up, so do the values of these manufactured homes that include land and are considered to be real property. 
There's definitely a lot to consider if you're thinking about purchasing a manufactured home. I hope this video helps bring you some insight and information to the process, but if you have any questions specific to your uh, purchasing needs, feel free to drop a comment below, or I will also include my phone number and email in the description box, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. As always, I upload new videos every Tuesday, answering real estate questions and questions about the Billings and Montana real estate markets. So I look forward to seeing you guys next Tuesday.